Hello everyone, let's meet Mr. Mehta who has been maintaining his accounts in a local software. Now that he has moved to Tally ERP9, he would like to transfer all the ledger masters from the existing software to Tally. He has got the ledger data exported in Excel format which he wants to update in Tally ERP9. This can be achieved using one of the following approaches. Making Tally act as a server and third-party applications as the client, the data can be posted to Tally by converting the data into Tally understandable XML format and then sending this XML fragment to the IP address and port of the machine where Tally is running. We can also use the Tally definition language to import data directly from Excel with the help of ODBC drivers. If you know TDL programming, this would be the ideal approach as it is easier and convenient. In this video, we will learn the TDL approach. Let us see the first step in detail, that is, the collection definition, the attributes and their respective values. Collection is a data gathering artifact which collects data from various data sources like the Tally database, external objects like DLL, XML, ODBC, etc. The syntax for writing the ODBC connection string for Excel is as follows. The collection attribute ODBC is used to specify the relevant ODBC drivers along with the data path of the Excel file to be read. The attribute SQL is used to specify the SQL query to select the objects from the specified table. Excel sheet name would be replaced with the actual sheet name containing the ledger data. In place of the asterisk sign, one can also specify the list of column headers separated by comma. Let us see the second step that is the contents of the user defined function in order to import the data gathered in this collection. Within the function, we need to loop over the collection of data using the looping construct walk collection, which walks over all the objects of the collection. The required actions to save the data should be written in this loop. In a user-defined function, there can be two object contexts, namely source context and the target context. By specifying the collection to walk upon, we have set the source context from where the data is available. Now, we need to set the target context. This can be done using the action new object. Once the source and target contexts are set, we need to set the values for all the required methods like name, parent, etc. in the target context from the source. For subcollections, that is repeated values like address, we need to insert an object using the action insert collection object. After setting the values to the methods, we need to move back to the primary object context using set target dot dot.
revenue item and tally for importing the ledgers. Let us see a demo of importing ledgers and tally ERP9. Select a company where the ledgers need to be imported, for example XYZ Company Limited. Go to Accounts Info Ledgers Display to view the existing ledgers. After loading the DDL code for importing the ledgers, a new menu item will appear in Tally ERP9. On invoking this menu item, ledgers from Excel are imported into the selected company. Go to Accounts Info, Ledgers, Display to check the imported ledgers. The imported data can be verified by selecting any particular ledger to view the Ledger Master screen. Using ODBC drivers, we can also import data from other ODBC sources like MS Access, SQL, Oracle, etc. Following is the syntax of the collection definition for fetching objects from MS Access tables. For more information, refer to documents on integration present on our website or in case of any doubts or queries, email us at support.tallydeveloper at tallysolutions.com.